Hello, and welcome to another episode of our Cyber Safety Series, where we teach you how to stay safe online. This episode is all about multi-factor authentication. At this point, we should all know that having a good, strong password is important, but even with the most secure, complex password, your information could still get leaked through data breaches or being phished, that's with a PH, or any number of other ways. That's where multi-factor authentication comes in to save the day. So what exactly is multi-factor authentication, or MFA for short? It's simply a multi-step approach to proving you are you or authenticating your identity. Authentication in the cyber world often means accessing your accounts or information by requiring more than one factor. Basically, a factor is another way to verify you are who you say you are. The most common factors used fall into three categories. Something you know, something you have, and something you are. Something you know is something like a password or a PIN number. These are already the most common ways to log into things like gaming accounts, bank accounts, emails, shopping websites, or your cell phone. And without multi-factor authentication, if a bad actor gets your password or PIN number, they can access these accounts without your permission. Something you have is most commonly your phone, but it can be other things, like a USB key or a badge. Whenever you sign into a website and it texts you or emails you a verification code to something you have, this is a perfect example of multi-factor authentication at work. So, if you get a random text with a verification code to sign into a website you didn't just try to actually sign into, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and change that password. There's a good chance someone out there that isn't you knows it. Something you are includes things like your fingerprint or face ID, among other things. This is something unique to you and it is extremely difficult to replicate. Obviously, the more factors employed to authenticate your identity, the more secure your information will be. But for the most part, two factors are plenty to secure yourself in the event your password or PIN numbers are leaked. Take a moment to think about all the websites that you use that require a password. How many of those are different? If you tend to reuse the same password, no judgment here. This means a bad actor getting access to that password would give them access to everything you use that password for, unless you have multi-factor authentication enabled. Then, you'll not only be notified when someone has your password, but also will be able to prevent anyone other than you from logging into your accounts. Enable MFA everyone, it could save you. That's all we have for today. Remember, stay safe out there.